Well, tell me your name. Angela Cook. Okay. I'm mom. I, she's mom. Uh, tell, you've had this bed here for about a year now. Yeah, over a year. Now. Over a year now. Yeah. And um, uh, tell me how it has helped your your life. Uh, um, well, before, for the last 14 years, um, approximately, we've been um, adjusting him at night to, to keep his lungs, the fluid in his lungs moving, to keep his circulation going. And it was every two hour thing, approximately every two hours. But when we move him and move him into one position, he would stay in that position for the next two hours, and then we'd have to move him again. Um, this way, with this bed, I don't have to get up at night and move him. I don't have to disturb him in his sleep. Um, and he's moved constantly, so there's more flow, there's more circulation, there's more, um, his fluid moves in his lungs better, there's more, you know, it's just, every, um, everything circulates better. And so we've had less incidences of him being sick. And when he has gotten sick, there's it's short, for a shorter period, there's less fluid in his lungs, which we normally would be worried about, and he would end up in the hospital because of pneumonia or on antibiotics, you know, and, and if you use too many antibiotics, then you build up a resistance to it. So. Um, he's been sick possibly three times in the last year, hmm. which hmm. is amazing for him because, especially with all the weather we've been having, and he would have been sick for longer. But at so most mentioning me, you thought that um, his bowel movements were, were a little bit better. They, they actually, we've had, we've, occasionally we've had to introduce fiber into the diet, but I have noticed that because the circulation is better in that air, general area, because he doesn't move that area very much unless he's scooting around in the computer chair. Um, if he's in his chair for a while, I noticed that, you know, saying we might have to introduce fiber into the diet, but he does, his bowel movements are, are more regular than they were before. Okay. Um, before, it was, it was always an introduction of fiber. Okay. And now it's just an occasional thing, just like anybody else would need, yeah. you know. Yeah. And so it's not so specialized, like, with him, it, how it used to be. But the fluid in the lungs, the breathing is better. His legs are, um, they're warm when I get him out of bed in the morning, which didn't happen before. His legs would be cold. They would be pulled up. Um, retracted, um, and he would have uh, he would have pain in his lower back, and his back he'd be stiff, and in this we don't notice that at all. Hmm. I've never had an instance of getting him up and him telling me, "Mom, I'm stiff, or my back hurts, or you know, I'm sore." If I pull him up, you know, I can feel that he's he's maybe a little tight from um, just from his um, uh, from the spasticity, but not as not how he was. He would be completely his legs would be completely pulled up in the regular bed, which never happens in this bed. Yeah. It never happens in this bed. So, yeah, that's true. and for us trying to get him up standing in a, wall, in, in a, in a brace and in, in a stander, his legs have to stay. We've already had surgery on that leg to lengthen the, tel the, the Achilles tendon and the tendon behind his hamstring um, to release it. So, I mean, that was 120 stitches and six weeks in a kickback wheelchair. And we don't want to repeat that process if we don't have to. So, and not to mention the fact that he hasn't gotten any more wounds. The wound that he did have is completely healed, and we haven't had any. We don't have any incidences of any 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 sores or pressure so any any pressure marks or anything like that, which we would have when I would move him, shift him in the regular bed. You could see the pressure marks. You could on the side of his hip, right? On you know on the on the, on his back, on his lower back, you could see that after he had stayed in one position for two hours. So yeah, this is this snugs him in, and. Um, and it keeps the rotation. And all I have to do is come in, and check a couple, night, you know, a couple things at, at night. You know, just peek in on him, check his, you know, his uh, little bells and whistles he has, and then go back to bed. But before it would be waking him up, to move him, to move the pillows, to positioning him, and then he would actually sometimes his arms would fall asleep if I moved him sideways, and he would have to holler out in the middle of the night for me to come and help him move again because his arm would be asleep because he would be laying on it, maybe too heavy, or we don't have any problems with that anymore. It's hard to remember what we did have problems with, but yeah, but it comes back to you when you think of all the benefits that he's experienced, you know, and he is more rested, and he's, when he wakes up, he's woke, and he's not groggy or still tired, or, and he used to be when we had the regular bed, he would be tired. And so you, you were turning him for 13 years? 14 years. 14 years. No sleep. Yeah, no sleep. <laughs> 14 years. And after enduring surgery. Now that's, that's yeah. 14 years, that's every day. Seven every day, night, every night, every seven every days. night, seven days a week, yeah. three hundred and sixty-five days a year. No breaks, no holidays, no, no vacations. No. So, this is helping a little bit. Then. It's helping a lot. Okay. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I think I'm a better rested person and probably more congenial to my kids now. Yes, I'm easier to get along with now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm not so frazzled. Yeah.
Yeah, it's it has it has improved the situation quite a bit, and and with the with the wound care, as far as the wound care is concerned, he rides a lot in his chair now. He's in his chair the majority of the week, and we should have seen some kind of um, pressure, something or right. some kind of redness probably or something, more. and probably more. It, we would have seen yeah. that had he been in the regular bed. Right. I already know, so. I run around more now. Than yeah, you did. Now you did be careful before. with that, you know. Because Christopher Reeves was the same way. He had an S on his chest. <laughs> Be careful of that, you know. Yeah, but at 21, you yeah. know, doesn't, doesn't everybody have an S on their chest at yeah, 21? Yeah, it's true. <laughs> and with the men, I can have an S on my chest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you see, like, by now, in a regular bed, his leg would have retracted up. He would have gotten the spasticity. His left leg would be bending up, would be retracting back. Doesn't do that in this bed. So the best way to keep his legs straight and lengthened in order for him to stand is to be able to keep him straight in bed. Hmm. So, yeah, that was something we hadn't even thought about. It's an extra benefit. It's an added benefit. Yeah, added benefit. Yeah, and yeah, and me getting full sleep and yeah, it's an added benefit too. Yeah. <laughs> See. See, so he's gonna go to and sleep. He's really comfortable. I put him in the bed and instantly he's like, yeah, instantly he's comfortable and you know and. I try to text them. Even it, he said I try, he tries to text, you know, while he's in gets sleepy. He goes to sleep. Yeah. Once you put him in the bed, it's a matter of minutes before he's to asleep. Increase minutes. circulation. Okay. okay. Just because we have the paralysis, and if they don't move, move them, they don't get it circulating. So, but it does help. His feet are his feet are warm now, and they're pink. And in the regular in a regular bed, if he sleeps in a regular bed, his from the knees down, he's ice cold. Wow. So the circulation has improved. Yeah, it's okay. made a difference. Our newest uh, model now will stay down on either side so it's easier transport into the into the uh, chair. Um, would it be of benefit, because uh, we've had this suggested to us that we could lower one end or, you know, let's say we could lower this to where his feet would be up in the air and the whole bed would, or do you think it'd be just to simply accomplished by sticking some pillows under his feet. Yeah, I think that that, that would be easily Because every time we the, do an improvement the, like that, the cost goes up. Right, and also to the the, 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 the the motion that you have it doing now um, accomplishes everything you want it to accomplish. Right. Um, if you need um, if you need added circulation or maybe if someone has swelling in the edema in their legs or whatever, which is what he had when he got his cast off, right. the elevation of the feet would do that. Okay. You know? And you would still have the same circulation issue as far as good circulation because it's still Rocking it back and forth. Okay. I think that would. I would think it was. It would just. It would serve a purpose just to have pillows. Okay. To elevate it. Yeah. To go up and down. That's. Yeah. It's not an expense, but also okay. you know if it, kind of if it's not broke. Yeah. Don't, don't fix don't it. Don't fix it. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's why we're here talking to you because yeah. you you have more experience with this than anybody, and so oh, okay. that's why we're talking to you. Yeah, we've enjoyed yeah. it. It's it's been a benefit. You know. Um, it's uh -huh. yeah. I'm on your so. heel, remember? On your heel of your foot. The pressure sore from the cast. I am not a bed sore. Right, with that take. Well, you that wasn't a bed sore either. Yeah. The one on your hip was a folliculitis, turned into an abscess. So, but yeah, with the with the one on his yeah. heel, it took us a year. Doctor Nami at the wound care center took him a year to close it. So, and I think it's directly related to the the circulation. Okay. All right. Anything else you'd like to say? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Thanks be, for listening to us, jaw you to death. <laughs> Thanks for the bed, Doctor J. Yeah. <laughs> So, well, and for the sleep? Yeah, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make you earn this bed, you know. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm glad to see that you're standing. Uh, yeah. That's huge. I mean, that's absolutely huge. It is big. And, and what's that? It's big. Yeah, it's big. It's real big. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, that's a major, major step. Forward. Yeah, for somebody who's C1 through, he's C1 through 7, his actual exit injury occurred C1 through 7, from the skull to the 7th vertebrae, but he's fused from the 1st to the 5th, so he shouldn't be breathing on his own. He shouldn't be feeling anything from the neck down. He shouldn't be continent. He shouldn't be have any a feeling in his extremities or any uh, have any muscle have, have any strength in his in his extremities. But you know, God, a few helpful people along the way. Yeah. 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 So that well, that's you know, and anything kid. we can do to help other people in the same situation Michael's in, if we you know, saying what kind of human beings would we, where would our humanity be if we didn't try? Right. To at least let them know that there's something, 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 and the community is so tight. If somebody finds out something works, it's like a chain. You know, it's it's kind of like passing it around the kind kindergarten line. You know, like everybody, everybody, it's, it's word of mouth that you know. We, that's how we got a lot of our. Uh, that's how we ended up in wound care, St. Luke's. 
you know, we wouldn't have known about it without word of mouth, you know, and people had talked about it, and, and then the, when the bed came out, we tell people that we know, you know, about the benefits of it, that we have it, because a lot of people we know are on air mattresses, or, and they're still getting bed sores, and they're still having complications, and, and there's, a um, there's, what was that, was it, what's Michelle's, um, patient's name? The one who just passed. We knew Tim for two years, and he had, um, an air mattress, and, and for his particular condition, it didn't benefit him because he continued to get the pressure sores, and um, and they pretend continue to ask uh, even even the, to get worse. Even though he was getting nursing care and, and, and wound care from you know his home care people, um, he a benefit a bed like this would have benefited him. I think that he still I still think that he would be he wouldn't have had the obstruction in his intestines. He wouldn't have had the circulatory problems, and we might still have him had he had a bed that you know was suited better to his needs. And but what he was paying for that bed too was ridiculous. You um, know, I have no idea. Like fifty grand. Okay. And that I mean, it, you know, and for somebody who's in a situation where you're paralyzed from the neck down, you can't really afford that. Right. You know, so, and you know, and I guess he when he passed away, he still owed on it. So, you know, and that so to me that was ridiculous. Let me take you through psycho Mikey. That's how it all goes down. I hope you like tacos. Oh, God. I like them. I, I like them. Well, they're beef, so beef tacos. Sorry, Lucy. No. <laughs> so, how long have you been uh, using uh, Doc J's rotation bed now? Um, since about maybe um, February or March of last year. So, it's almost a, it's over a year now, huh? Yeah, yeah. And so, and you had a sore on your back when you when you when you first started. We brought this over here, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and is that is that sore healed up now? Yeah. Or it's, it, it, yeah. Yeah. It's all gone. It's all gone. Yeah. Okay. Thanks to the bed. Thanks to the bed. Yeah.